Reason number one, save trees. Paper books take enormous amounts of trees in order to print onto its paper pages. Trees are very important for natural oxygen production, maintenance of essential habitats for most animals, and also provide us humans with a sense of nature. Rainforest deforestation has resulted in many negative human effects, such as increased frequency of forest fires and even violence. E-readers such as the Kobo or Amazon's Kindle allow paper to be saved. They can be replicated instantly via computer software and don't even require ink to be wasted, which could otherwise contribute to the use of fossil fuels. Reason number two is carry thousands of books for the weight of half. Because ebook readers use virtual books that are only about one to two megabytes in typical size, you can literally store thousands of your favorite books onto your e-library instead of building a second home to store your growing collection. When you go on holiday, you immediately start to see the stacking weight of more than one paper book. Not only is a Kobo slimmer than a standard paperback novel, it weighs less so you can feel much lighter when traveling or even taking books to and from home to university. Reason number three would be dictionary function. So your Kobo also doubles as a dictionary, saving you the effort from carrying that too. But it gets better than that because Kobos use touchscreen displays. You can highlight any word and it will automatically search up the definition for that word for you using the built-in dictionary. No more missing out on key concepts in books anymore because you didn't have a dictionary lying around or you couldn't be bothered to google the difficult word whenever it popped up randomly at night. Reason number four is cheaper books. Because ebooks don't require materials and labor to make, they are cheaper for the end user, who are you and I, to purchase. You can download most popular books onto ebook formats such as EPUB or Mobi. The Kobo and Amazon Kindle store is amazing for finding any book that you can think of. The average price of an ebook is around £4 or $5, and amazing savings can be made because ebooks don't have storage fees or maintenance required like normal paper books do. Reason number five is the nightlight function. So one of the biggest downsides to reading a paper book at night or in a dark room is that you have to have a light source. Even if you have a book light or a reading lamp, this is just one extra device that you have to be near or carry around with you. Furthermore, the blue light from daylight and other reading lamps can affect your sleeping patterns if you read into the night. This is where the nightlight functions on Kobos or Kindles come incredibly useful. Firstly, the built-in light of the e-reader means that you never have to worry about carrying a second light source, but it also offers a nightlight feature where the amounts of blue light that it emits is drastically reduced and so it will not affect your sleep. Blue light is a wavelength of light that the sun gives out. As we know, it is very hard to sleep during the daylight because your body is awakened by the sun as it signals that it is the morning and the predators can see us, so we need to get moving. Reason number six is there are a lot of free books. Older books that have exceeded the copyright limit, such as Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, are completely free to read and download. There are hundreds of books that are legally free to download and keep. Furthermore, sometimes new books will be available for free even from Kobo and Amazon as part of their promotions. Now think about paper books. Retailers won't be giving masses of them out anytime soon as they take a lot of money to make, keep and distribute. As an added bonus, you can read PDF files on Kobos, which means you can read your scientific articles for your university while on the train. I don't recommend buying an ebook reader solely for reading PDFs as they have lower resolutions than tablets, they are slower to respond to, and they don't offer any color functionality. Reason number seven is that they are waterproof. Many of the newer or more premium Kobos are actually waterproof. Try finding a waterproof copy of your paper books. This means that they are perfect to take on holidays, whether you are reading a book by the pool or a beach, or even if you spill a glass of wine on them, you can just wipe them clean and resume reading your Fifty Shades of Grey or your Harry Potters. The waterproof feature also means you can read your favorite books in the bath without having to worry. Reason number eight is highlight features. Do you like to annotate the pages of your paper books? Well, with a Kobo, you can highlight words and sentences and have them automatically sync with the cloud so you have the highlighted segments available for referencing at a future date. And you can even share these highlights with friends or colleagues on the internet. This makes making notes on your favorite books so much easier and you don't have to worry about defacing the pages of your favorite books so that the next person that you let borrow these books doesn't think that you are a psycho.
Reason number nine, amazing battery life. Because ebook readers such as the Kobo and Kindles use what they call an e-ink display, electronic ink, the display does not require power to display an image, unlike a standard iPad screen, which has a liquid crystal display screen. Not only does an iPad need to display colors and update its screen about 60 times per second, it also requires a backlight, which contributes to major battery drain. E-ink displays refresh or update only when you need them to. This means that they can have weeks to months worth of battery life, depending on how much you can use the built-in light function. This means that you don't really have to worry about charging your book every day as it can last weeks to months and can definitely last an entire plane journey. And reason number 10 is that ebooks are easy on the eyes. As explained before, e-inks display using electronic ink which does not require backlight and does not need to be refreshed multiple times a second to keep up with the motion. This means that ebooks read like ink and paper so there will never be any strain on the eye. Unlike phones, iPads and computer screens, Kobos and Kindles don't cause eye fatigue or require a backlight. This means that they can be read directly in sunlight. Try and do that with your phone even on maximum brightness, your battery will strain harder than your eyes trying to read the stuff. There are many reasons why I prefer a Kobo over a Kindle, but we can save that for another video. I recommend getting straight into ebook readers whether it's a cheaper version or the more expensive version like I have here. But getting into ebooks will completely change your life, it will give you the opportunity to read more and discover books that you've never discovered before and you may never look back. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it please subscribe I can do more videos on these Kobo related things and how switching to an e-reader has benefited me and it will benefit you too. If you liked the video press like and as always thanks for watching.